Here's a weird and kind of interesting topic, and it's similar shapes and enlargements. Let's look at a couple of similar shapes. We'll um, talk about what, how you prove something is similar in a, a later video. But similar, just to cut a long story short, basically means exactly the same except enlarged by a bit or shrunk by a bit. But the same angles, the same shape, just slightly bigger or smaller. Two similar shapes, therefore, might look something like a rectangle like that and a rectangle like that same dimensions, just a bit bigger. And they'd give you some measurements as well. So let's say that is three centimeters long and two centimeters tall, for example, two centimeters tall. And maybe they would give you this as being X which is what you have to find out, and this is being nine centimeters. So this is a fairly simple example. Can you see what's happened to the smaller rectangle to get to the bigger rectangle? To do that, we need to find a pair of sides that we know from both of the rectangles. We know the base, for example, in here of this rectangle is three, and we know the base of this rectangle is nine. We couldn't look at this pair, the height, because we only know one. We know that height is 2 and that height is x. But here we know the base is 3 and the base is 9. So we can use that to find the magic ratio. With similar shapes, you're always looking to find the magic ratio. Can you see the magic ratio? It is what you times the smaller one by to get to the bigger shape. 3 times by what gets you 9? Well, 3 times by 3 gets you 9. So here, the magic ratio equals 3. Equals times by 3, I might say. OK, well, that is going to be the same thing for the heights and for anything else to do with that shape. Not the angles, but anything, any lengths to do with that shape, you'll have to multiply by 3 to the smaller shape to get the bigger shape. For example, the height. If the height of the smaller shape is 2, what do you reckon the height of the bigger shape, therefore, is going to be? It's going to have to be 6, because you do 2 times by 3 to get the bigger rectangle of 6. Let's try a harder example of two triangles. This time, the numbers might not be quite so easy. So there's a smaller one. And here is the bigger one. And let's give you some lengths here of 2 centimeters for the smaller one, 5 centimeters for the bigger one, and 4 at the bottom here, x along here, and finally. 10 here and y here and the challenge is to find x and y well as always with similar shapes um, which is also just enlargements that's a, another way of thinking about it just an enlargement you need to find the magic ratio let's highlight that the magic ratio now in this case there's, there's different ways of finding the magic ratio. The way I like to do it is the bigger side divided by the smaller side. Again, as before, we need to find a pair of sides. Here, I'd love to use the right-hand side, but we, we know the 10 of the right-hand side for the bigger one, but we, we don't know the right-hand side for the smaller one. I'd love to use the base, because we know 4 here, but we don't know the base of the bigger one, so we don't have a pair. We're going to have to use the left-hand sides, because we have 2, and we have five. So there's the pair. We have the left-hand sides for both of them. So that's the one we're going to have to use. The magic ratio. There's two main ways of doing it. The, like, as we did before, which is what number do you times the smaller one by to get the bigger one, or the bigger one divided by the smaller one. You get the exact same thing. 
In this case, let's do 5 divided by 2. That will give us the magic ratio. The bigger one divided by the smaller one. Or you can think, if it helps you, 2 times by what? So 2 times by mystery number equals 5. It's the same thing. These two things equal the same thing. What is half of 5? Or 5 divided by 2? It's 2.5. And equally true is that 2 times 2.5 equals 5. So the magic ratio equals times by 2.5. Now we can find all the other ones. To get to the smaller triangle, to the bigger triangle, we times by 2.5. 4 times by 2.5. Well, times it by 2 is 8. Half of 4 is 2. So 8 plus 2 is 10. So 4 times by 2.5 is 10. So that side is 10. Slightly harder. This time we've got to get y, we've got the bigger side, and we want to find the smaller side. So instead of timesing, we're going to have to divide by the magic ratio. How would we do 10 divided by 2.5? I hate having decimals in a fraction. It com completely confuses my mind. So what I'll do is I'll times the top by 2 and the bottom by 2. And that will get rid of the decimal. I could actually times it by 10 as well. That would work. But in this case, timesing it by 2 would also get rid of the decimal. So that would be 20 divided by 5. Oh, that's much easier. 20 divided by 5 is 4. So that smaller side would have to be 4. 4 centimetres.